law number four. Power of a product. Uh, truthfully, I don't really give a care if you actually remember what it's called. As long as you recognize to know what to do when the time is to do it. A and B in brackets. So this is two terms. A times B to the power of two. That equals A squared times B squared. Famous question, why? Who cares? Why does it matter? Or I mean, how do we get there? It's this simple. We'll start with what we have. A times B squared. Well, we know that this is the same as A times B times A times B. Because the last law, we remember that this exponent applies to the entire bracket set. So this line is the same. Well, let's, I'm going to just redraw with brackets on every term. Okay? We have to know from before. For example, 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 2 is 6. The order in multiplication doesn't matter. Okay? So because each of these here are multiplying, I can rewrite them. In fact, I'll rewrite the a's together. a times a. And then I'll put the b's together. Times b times b. Now, being a smart student as you are, you will recognize that this, that's the same as saying a squared times b squared. There's your answer. a squared, b squared. Isn't that what we just had up here? When we recognize this exponent on the outside of brackets, the important thing is we apply it to every term inside here. That's how we got that. But now you know why. Always remember, the why is the important part.